yeah so what is the rpc so let's understand what uh, first what is rpc so rpc stands for remote procedure calls so remote procedure calls is a technique for building a uh, distributed systems basically it allow a program uh, on a, on a machine to call a procedure or a function on another machine machine without knowing that it is a remote what is this is the rpc so let me talk about a little bit history of grpc first like uh, in 2015 google developed the rpc as an extension of the rpc framework uh, to link many micro services created with different and different different technologies like uh, different different programming languages like java python anything else <laughs> and uh, initially it was closely associated with google's internal uh, project basically infrastructure so but later it was made open source uh, during and uh, during the first year of its release it was adopted by uh, a lot of organizations uh, like netflix to use their streaming and uh, there are a lot of techniques like iot devices who adopted this as their framework so what is grpc grpc is a robust open source rpc framework used to build fast apis why this is fast i'll show you in next it is so it is allowed the client and server applications to communicate transparently and develop connection system develop like so uh, and already many uh, popular firms have adopted grpc such as uh, google netflix ibm etc so and this framework basically relies on the new http version http2 and protocol buffers and these are the languages which currently support the grpc like the proto compiler we support these are the languages and yes you might be thinking that what g stands for in grpc like uh, it was very interesting to research about it some uh, like somewhere i found it stands for google and somewhere i found just like it is for good and like this but uh, uh, some answer i got on stack overflow is like the google's internal project has named it like uh, with with uh, that's why this is grpc like they have an internal project as this name so yes uh, as grpc framework lies on http2 and protocol buffers so let's discuss those first so http2 as the grpc is developed on http2 uh, which was http2 was published in 2050 to overcome the uh, limitations of http1 http2 brings some advanced capabilities such as uh, binary framing layer uh, like unlike http1.1 http2 request uh, and response is divided into small messages uh, basically packets data packets they share and uh, framed as in binary format making message transmission uh, more efficient by using that with binary framing the http2 protocol has made request response uh, multiplexing possible without blocking network resources like multiplexing is like uh, making connection one time and using uh, that uh, further and uh, another advantage of this is streaming so by uh, bi directional and uh, unidirection streams in which the client can request and the server can respond uh, simultaneously they also allow us to flow control the uh, the memory uses uh, by the messages actually uh, the data packets and http2 also has an header compression technique uh, like uh, by using hpack everything in http2 including headers is encoded before sending a request uh, which significantly improve overall performance uh, using hpack hpack compression method actually http2 only shares the value different from the previous http header pack like we send a request then another request is having some different value from previous one then it should share only otherwise it is holding up in there is some catch uh, or any mechanism they are using so yes this is making the processing with http2 grpc supports both uh, synchronous and asynchronous processing actually uh, yeah so all these features of http2 enable grpc to use uh, a less resources which result in reduced response times between apps and services which are running on the cloud so let's talk about protocol buffers so protocol buffers they are also sometimes uh, mentioned as protobuf is google's serialization deserialization protocol that enables the easy definition of services and uh, auto generated client libraries grpc uses this protocol as their uh, interface definition language and serialization tool set mm, and its current version is proto 3 actually which i have mentioned 
uh, basically gRPG services and messages between clients and server are defined in proto files like the payloads the data payloads the uh, and the proto buff compiler pro they, they are having a proto uh, compiler which generates the client and server code actually for us and at the runtime they load the dot proto file into the memory and uses in memory schema to serialize and deserialize the binary message and uh, yes uh, one more thing i would like to mention is parsing with proto buff requires fewer resources uh, since data is converted into binary format like and encoded messages are lighter in size so messages are exchanged faster even in machine with uh, which have a lower cpu power such as like mobile devices but for now we are they are having value so this is the basic development for Clo, like we need to install the dependencies the proto compiler writer proto files and uh, generate the code using proto and uh, implement the services in the server and the client just use this and just test and deploy this this is the basic development workflow of uh, how it's going to work so let's talk about a quick quick demo i would like to give a demo like uh, yes um, let's start it with proto file so yes this is the proto file uh, the protocol buffer actually uh, the proto file which is the major power of grpc we can say like as we, this is the version, version of this is mentioned as syntax here. So these are the services uh, like the our gRPC server is going to provide. Like we can relate it from like endpoint methods which are in used in REST. Actually, when we hit a request from REST, then an internal method is called by the server. Like they are, this is the service which is directly accesses, accessible to the client actually. And these are our structure basically. Uh, like we can define our data, how it's going to be stored, which, what is the field name and how it is going to be stored by the, basically the payload holder. And one thing it is notable here is like one, two, three, four, what is that? Like why I have mentioned that actually they are required here. They uh, work as aliases, uh, aliases of this, uh, when, when it got uh, serialized into the binary like it is this one is used as id when it is uh, converted into binary to trans to transport the data so we can assume that how it is making everything is faster uh, by making small small changes so yes uh, this was just a proto file and uh, what are the generated files actually there is a command uh, this help to generate the files actually uh, the client code and the server code files this is this i'll mention i have mentioned this in the references don't worry about that. Basically, this is the language. Language I'm like go out. I'm using in Go. So that's why this is go out. If you are using Java, then Java out, Python out, and everything else. So yes, um, these are the files which are generated by the proto compiler, which includes the some methods, which predefined methods. We do not have to carry uh, worry about the methods of those, those payloads actually. This is the client methods and this contains server methods, uh, like which is going to be used in the server itself. Yeah, and mm, yes, I would like to show you an example, like how it is faster than REST actually. So uh, yes, so is this this server is the movies app is uh, developed on gRPC and the movies app REST is developed on uh, REST actually, I, I'm mentioning that. So I'm what I'm going to do is run those both and uh, try to uh, Try to figure out the size, different size, like uh, what is the different in the payload size? Uh, let me show you the payload first. Payload means the, our data in which is stored in an array. Like this is the movies a a variable, which stores thousands of movie info. This same is also in the uh, rest. The, the same thing is on both sides, thousands and yes, this is movies variable. So let me run the JSON one first. Okay, it's running now. And so yes, the here is the request of great all movies. And this is the endpoint of uh, local host. So I'm going to hit it. So as you can see, uh, these returns means thousands of record and the size is 71.31 KB, which is the response size. So let's take a look at the gRPC response size as well. So let me stop it first. 
then and this one. So yes, this is the GRPS, GRPC one, which is running. So let me um, explain it with scratch, like how we, how we gonna test our GRPC calls in Postman. Actually, this is currently in beta in Postman, but we can test uh, or some basic things in it. Like, first of all, I need to provide the proto file here, uh, which is already selected for me, but you can select it by uh, click on there. Yes. Basically the library name, which version you want to set, uh, suppose 1.1.5. Yes, this prepared our data and the services which we define in our proto file. Let, let me clear with you. As you can see, these are the services which you define our profile, which is already imported by the uh, postman. As you can see, but let me give the post address first. Yes. So we are going to hit, uh, first let me show you the old movies, it will, which it will return. Yes, the same data it returns as JSON. Actually, the postman is converting it to JSON for us, like to because um, postman is developed for testing purpose, so it is making it the human friendly. So, so let me get the size. Actually, there is no uh, native support to get the size of response for now in postman. So we have implemented a method. Actually, the this method is provided by Google to calculate the size of actually your data. So which I have implemented in this method uh, in this method actually. So let me work this. So you can see uh, 42,087 bytes actually. So if we convert this bytes into kilobytes, it is it will be around 42 KB. So as we can assume that uh, this is around, mm, around half, uh, like 60% we can say the size of the, if we compare it to JSON. So how it is making it uh, like more powerful uh, in, in the time of data transport. And one example I would like to give of the streaming actually. Uh, this method is a, it can, let me show you how it's going to work in backend. Yes. So this is actually the auto, uh, we have the auto generated code first. So this service implement the stream actually. So we are sending by using the auto generator methods, which uh, it provides, I, I haven't declared and uh, defined this, which is given by the protobuf compiler, proto compiler actually. So yes, try to hit it. So as you can see how the response is coming, this is streaming actually. This is, uh, that is sending me one by one, one by one. So as we, uh, we can assume that how we can use them in, in some kind of real time update applications, like where we need to get updated every second, every millisecond. So yes, this was the basic demo. So let's get back to the slide. So yes, here are uh, GRPC is offering many benefits in certain operations like performance. Uh, GRPC offers up to around seven to 10% faster, faster performance than REST actually. Communication as it uses protobuf and HTTP2, both are the, the powerful things. Protobuf serializes the messages on the server and client search quickly, resulting in small and compact message payloads. And HTTP2 scales up the performance via uh, by using multiplexing, the header compression, the aspect method actually. So, and HTTP2 uses more advanced compression method to make the message smaller, which can be another topic to discuss, but yeah, as for now, which result actually the faster loading. And the second advantage of this is streaming. GRPC supports uh, client or server side streaming. Uh, this makes it much simpler to build streaming services or client. A GRPC service support different, different type of streaming, like client to server, server to server, uh, like uh, client to server, bi-directional as well. They can run simultaneously in the code generation, which we have seen, like it generates, the proto gen uh, compiler generates the code files for us. The prime feature, this is the prime feature of uh, GRPC methodologically, uh, the native code generation for client server application. So the usability and the productivity. As GRPC is an over, all in one RPC solution, uh, it works seamlessly across various languages and platforms. Uh, we can use it in any technology. Additionally, it uh, features excellent tooling. Uh, this saves considerable time of developer and enable developers to focus more on their uh, business logic. 
एंड यस देर आर सम कॉन्स एज वेल तो बेसिकली नो नेटिव ब्राउजर सपोर्ट वी कॉन्ट रन जी आर पी सी कॉल आउट फ्रॉम दर्व ब्राउजर एज फॉर नाव एटलीस्ट एज जी आर पी हैवीली यूज एस टीपी टू इट इज इम्पॉसिबल टू कॉल जी आर पी सर्विस फ्रॉम वेब ब्राउजर डायरेक्टली नो मॉडर्न ब्राउजर प्रोवाइड द कंट्रोल नीडेड ओवर द वेब रिक्वेस्ट टू टू हैंडल आवर जी आर पी सी क्लाइंट एक्सल सो एंड यस दिस इज स्टिल यंग सो वेन आई वॉज डूइंग रिसर्च ऑन दैट आई ऑल्सो वेरी स्टक इन वाइल्स डूइंग आर एंडी फॉर दैट नीड टू डू अ लॉट ऑफ रिसर्च टू फाइंड आउट द सोल्यूशन और आंसर्स ऑफ माई क्वेश्चन so this is also a cons of this and yes we need to maintain the schema as well the protos we we want uh, it won't work without protos so yes uh, before wrapping up everything uh, i would like to talk about the references because they can be useful for you like this one is a master thesis this include the research actually basically the research this is a pdf file and developed which is used to develop a content delivery system using grpc so this this uh, uh hold up holds up a lot of research on that you so if you want to go deep into this so you can read it read this out and this is the basic documentation of grpc uh, basically the main website and how it gonna work and this is useful for sales for actually like uh, how it is start growing in pubsub api model actually so i haven't gone through that so if you would like to go please use that link and this is uh, uh, this is having a quick start guide this uh, this include a uh, uh, documentation for all of the languages like which you would like to start 